And welcome to Capital Talk, a program we hope will have an impact on the future of Kenya. And now, more than ever, I'm Jeff Kinanga. Now, I know many of you were wondering, after Dennis the Menace Oliech, who are we going to have on the bench today? One word, Mariga. <laughs> I tell you, talk about a superstar. This young man shows up in Nyayo Stadium at a midweek game. 17,000 fans go crazy. This past weekend, he was at the Safari Com 7s. The crowd went ballistic and he signed autographs, took pictures. This man, so humble, so sweet, and he's one of our very own. Homegrown superstar. And what a season he's had. It can only be described as Cinderella. I had the medals to prove it. They won the Serie A, they won the Italian Cup, and of course, the Champions League, three medals. First ever Kenyan to get there, first ever Kenyan to win the Champions League. At 24 years old, this young man is the superstar. And I tell you, he's not done yet. The future is so bright. He's going so far and he's represented. So as we talk about the World Cup and Africa's World Cup and world being represented out there, even though Kenya's not there, we still have our own superstars. Sit back, folks, on the bench today. One word, like I said, Mariga, as in McDonald Mariga. <laughs> My brother, I, meant, I, for, I forgot to mention that you have a, a better smile than I do, man. You got a, <laughs> got a sweet, sweet smile, my brother. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank what a season you have had. I mean, it's been incredible. Yeah, it is. It is. Yeah. Huh? yeah it Do is. you wake up sometimes in the morning and pinch yourself and say, this is not happening? <laughs> <laughs> no, I wake up in the morning praying to God, oh. thanking him for everything he, had, he have done to me. Yeah. It's been, it's been great because there was that, remember, in, in, at the beginning of the season, there was that whole issue about Man City and yeah. then the work permit controversy. And we thought, oh no, now what's going to happen to our guy? And yeah. then the next moment, the special one signs you up. Yeah, I think it was... Um, it was God's uh, favor to me, so I was very happy too. Yeah. 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 And, and going from Parma to Inter, what was that like? Yeah, it's uh, because Parma is a mid medium team, so it's not. Uh, past four, three years, it was a big team because it has great players. And uh, we went to Serie B, then we came back to Serie A, so. It's a, it's a little bit small team compared to Inter Milan. Yeah. yeah. So when you went to Inter now, you're playing with the big boys. Was yeah. that difficult adjusting in the beginning? Uh, for me, it, it wasn't very difficult because I'm used to Italian league, so it, was, it wasn't very difficult. It was the, uh, the problem was just I was not uh, with the team when they started uh, preparation for this year, for, that, for last year uh, season. So it was difficult for me to get into the team. So. But the chances I got, I, I was happy with the time I played and everything, so I don't complain. Yeah. yeah. The first time you put on that number 17 and you jogged on the field, yeah? what was it like? Yeah, well, uh, number 17 I used to when I was in, uh, in, at Parma, I used that jersey. And, uh, uh, well, the first game I played uh, with Inter, I was very happy. I was very happy and pleased. Yeah. yeah. What is this about the special one, Mariga? What is it about Mourinho that yeah. he just knows talent? He just knows who to pick and when. What is it about him? No, uh, I think he's a, he's a simple man. And uh, I think when he chooses someone, he believes he's, he chooses someone who is good, uh, who can help him in the pitch. And he's just, uh, I think he's a, a guy who who is good in football and he understands football so much. Yeah. yeah. The Champions League, you played in the semis, right? Yeah, I they played. They brought uh, you in in the semis. Yeah, I played uh, versus Chelsea quarters and yes. semi, I played uh, five, six minutes versus uh, Barcelona. What was it like in that stadium? Paint the picture for us because we were watching you here. I mean, yeah. the whole country was watching. What was it like being there? Yeah, it was nice. Uh, I even wanted to play more minutes, you know, and but uh, I was not disappointed because I uh, I played because I never played Champions League before yeah. and uh, I played versus Chelsea 10-15 minutes so I was very happy. Yeah, very happy. 
Do you realize what you've done? I mean, you have changed the face of football in this country, Mariga. I mean, like it or not, you have changed the face of football. Yeah, uh, at the moment, I think uh, even some Euro European fans and some people out there, they know Kenya is not uh, about athletics or running. Uh, they know we are good in football now. They understand we have talent here. So uh, I think coming years, we'll, we'll, be, we'll having many players playing in big, bigger teams. So at the moment, it's just to focus on our football and uh, we see how, how we'll work with that uh, taking out many players outside yeah. Yeah. yeah did you ever think growing up i mean come kunji high yeah. did you think man from machinani that you would be who you are mm, no but uh, the it, when when you start to play football you have some goals to achieve so you maybe you play one day you'll play bigger team and so you you never know where you land up so you just play you love the game and one day maybe you'll play, you'll play in a bigger team or you won't reach far, but it's not the end of, uh, of the life. So if, if, you, if you don't go far, you just continue where you are. Yeah. yeah. Three medals, Mariga. <laughs> First season, three medals. And this one, people don't win. Or a lot of people have not won the Champions League ever, yeah. ever, ever. You've got all three in one season. Where does, where does one go from there? Uh, for me, I have... Uh, for me... Uh, I've achieved the goal, uh, f uh, winning three medals is the thing I wanted in, in my life because I, pl I played the UEFA Cup when I was still in Sweden. So the, the biggest th thing I wanted is to play in Champions League, which this year I did and I'm very happy. Very happy. <laughs> so are we, man. For you, we are so happy for you. So <laughs> now you. that Mourinho has gone, yeah. right? Yeah. What happens, man? Are you going to follow in his footsteps? Are you, what's the deal right now? No, uh, at the moment I can't say anything because uh, he took me, I uh, stayed there six months and now he's leaving. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what is in, in his head, so I don't know nothing. Yeah. Much, yeah. Let's talk that Rafael Benitez may be coming to Inter. He's yeah. being interviewed for the job of coach. Are you excited about that? Would you? Is that a good? Is that a good call? Yeah, yeah, yeah. For me, uh, the coach is not a the coach is not a problem because uh, any coach can come and and he can choose his team to play, and uh, it's no problem with that. Uh, my work is to go in the pitch and prove myself I can do it, and then everything else will follow. Yeah, yeah. Let's look ahead this week, uh, Mariga. The World Cup. Yeah. coming to Africa for the very first time. Of course, we're very excited. Even though Kenya's not there, yeah. we're excited because it's happening on African Enough. soil. Yeah, yeah. Do you have a favorite? Who's your favorite? No, I don't, under, I don't have a favorite. Uh, I just support African team. So in Africa, we can win this uh, cup because we never won, I think. So if one team in uh, for African team win this uh, cup, will be very happy. Yeah. Yeah. Ghana, Ivory Coast, yeah, Nigeria, which yeah. one? Which one? No, I just uh, for me is to watch football and support every African team that yeah. is uh, they are participating in World Cup. Yeah. Yeah. You're going to go there late in the month, right? Yeah, yeah. Man, I'm sure it's going to be so exciting. Yeah, it will be great and uh, to see from quarterfinals to final it will be very great. It will yeah. be very good, yeah. 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 Do you think Mariga one day Harambe stars can make it to that level. Is it possible? Because there's talent like you. If there's talent like you and your brothers, big stars and others across this country, can we make it one day? Yeah, uh, for me, I think in future we'll make it because we, now we have uh, uh, talent in Kenya and we have uh, play, big players, Denis Oliech and other big players. So I think in one, two years will be big uh, National team Arambe Stars will be very big with big players, so I think one day we'll be participating in World Cup. Yeah. yeah. The other day when you showed up at Nyayo, 17,000 people, the crowd was on their feet. Yeah. What was that like, coming home, getting that kind of accolades? Uh, first, I'll, I'll thank all the, the fans uh, for the reception. They, they are great and they help us, uh, to, they support us to play good and to, to achieve something, so I'll just thank them. Yeah, and uh, tell them to support us more, and only that I yeah. can tell them, yeah. And then at rugby, man, at sevens, man. Yeah, it was great. <laughs> it was great. <laughs> no, it wasn't great. It was phenomenal, <laughs> man. <laughs> yeah, but the question is, how do you stay so humble, man? I mean, if, it, if I was you, ha, <laughs> ungeniona. <laughs> <laughs> huh? 
No, um, I just because I'm not uh, the way I've grown up. I've grown up in uh, estates, and uh, I just take people as I am right now because I have been with them. So I have to just stay with them. So yeah. yeah. Your mother must be so proud, man. Yeah, huh? she is. Yeah. She must be so proud. <laughs> Yeah, she is. Does she up. watch your games? Yeah, she watch my games. Actually, uh, uh, she came to visit me in Italy and she watch our uh, games. Uh, the game I scored against Atalanta, she was there. So it feels great. And I was happy she came and I scored a goal, so yeah. I was very happy. Yeah. yeah. When you were growing up and you had this talent then, did, yeah. did your mother support you or did she tell you no, football won't take you far? No, my mom, uh, they support me because uh, my father was a coach and uh, he played football, so he, know, he knows football. Noah Wanyama. Yeah, yeah. So it wasn't difficult for me. Yeah. Your brothers too, man. Y y I mean, your family is just full of talent. It's not fair, <laughs> man. <laughs> huh? yeah, Mugabe, yeah. uh, Solo, cousin, yeah. and others. I mean, they're all playing. Yeah, they're all playing. And I think it's a gift from God. I don't, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Can Mugabe come and... Can he be as good as you are? Yeah, he's good. He's a good player, and I think soon, um, uh, soon he'll be he'll be having I think big clubs for him. So he's good. He's yeah. a good player. He's already talked that there's some clubs looking for him. Yeah, there's some clubs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's some clubs. What do you want to do, uh, Marika? Do you want to play in the EPL? Is that the ultimate goal of players like you to play in the English Premier League? No, for me, uh, right at the moment, uh, when I went to Parma, I said uh, I can play in, in Italian league, but I cannot choose, you know. But uh, what I can say is uh, to play in English club is not uh, about me or other players in Kenya, like Denis Oliech, like uh, Jamal Mohamed, like uh, Patrick Oboya, Mugabe, and other players. I think uh, there's a, there will be another player who will come up and play in England. It's not only Mariga can play in England. So at the moment it's just to focus on our, to put Kenya in the good ranking and then other players can play there. Yeah. yeah. You think we can improve that ranking? Yeah, I think this, at the moment we can, we can improve the ranking because we, are, we have a good team now. Yeah. We have good players, we yeah. have good team, yeah. I want to talk more about that Mariga and also I want to talk about the future, man. What, what, what can one do after achieving the greatest achievement in one season? What can one do? And also, down the line, what do you want to do? Do you want to coach? Do you want to have your own football team? What do you want to do down the line? And yeah. also, advice for young men after the break. Look at that smile. <laughs> <laughs> My goodness, Matt Donald Mariga. True, true superstar. Three medals in his first season at Inter. What can he do next? What a Cinderella season for a young man who grew up humbly right here in Kamkunji. It's come a long way, I tell you. And this is what we mean when we talk about the future of Kenya, right here in McDonald Mariga. Don't even think of going away. We've got plenty more with Mariga after the break. So, back in a moment. Welcome back to Capital Talk. What a week we are having, I tell you. Superstars on the bench, gracing the bench, coming to give advice, coming to show us exactly who we are as Kenyans because we do have superstars and they are homegrown and they're flying our flag high out there in the world. Like my guest today, I tell you one word, Mariga. <laughs> Did you ever think your name would be a household name, Mariga? I mean, every, even little kids. My little son the other day when he was taking pictures with you. Now he knows Mariga. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's a good thing. It's a good thing. <laughs> Did you ever think you'd be, you know? No, 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 no. No. My no, it is. Yeah? <laughs> no. And your talent, man. Your talent. Can you take it to that next level? Can you, have you peaked yet or are you still, you're still climbing? For me, uh, uh, well, uh, playing in, for Inter Milan is uh, it's a big team. It's yeah. a big team in Europe, and uh, so for me, it's uh, just to <coughs> focus and uh, build more. Uh, look the future, my future with the Inter, and I see what what will happen. Yeah, yeah. And, and the good thing is because you played for Parma, yeah. Italian. You know, you learned Italian along the way. Yeah. So you know, you can communicate. 
on and off the field. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's good. I know Italian and it's not, it's, there's no problem for communication, so it's good. That helps a lot, huh? Yeah, it helps. Next season, man, what, what, what can we look forward to? Because obviously, you know, you, you, you're taking July off, and then you go back for training, right? Yeah. Are you guys gonna, you gonna make it back to this, another medal? No, uh, for, for Champions League, it's, uh, for me, it's, uh, it's not uh, easy, it's not easy to win. So I think we have to fight again. So if we reach there, it's, uh, it's, it's good. Yeah. But if you don't, it's a difficult thing. So we, we'll just continue playing the way we played last year. So and see if we, we can win again. Mm. Yeah. Syria? Ah, Syria, well, it's, uh, Inter is a big team. There's AC Milan and other teams. So we'll just have to fight again. Mm. Yeah. We'll have to fight again. Would you want to stay on at Inter? Would you want to or would you, <coughs> if Mourinho called, if the special one called and said, come to rehab? No. <laughs> For that one, I can say nothing. But uh, if, a, if, a team, if a team wants to, you cannot uh, say no. Yeah. You just go, yeah. yeah. You, you just go. Yeah. yeah. The other players on your team, obviously, you know, you're the only Kenyan playing in that in that top echelon. Yeah. What, what do the other players think of you as a Kenyan? What do they think of you as a player? No, well, they, I think they, they know, <laughs> they, they, they respect. If you play in kind, that kind of a team, everyone respects you and uh, they know you can do something. So you just talk normally and uh, there is respect in the team. So it's nice. Yeah. yeah. When you walk into the malls in Italy, when you go yeah. shopping, say, on a weekday or, you know, when you're not playing, yeah. do they recognize you? Yeah, yeah. There is uh, it's football. Every time it's football, football, football. So even there it's difficult to walk in towns and uh, to go shopping is difficult. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, you're a superstar, man. <laughs> <laughs> mm. But you're enjoying this, aren't you? I mean, obviously you look like you're having a lot of fun. Yeah, it's nice. It's good. It's good. What advice do you give young men? You know, you probably think you can just put on a number 17 shirt and play in <laughs> front of 100,000 people. Tell, yeah. what, what, what advice do you give to people who have the talent and would love to be like you one day? No, for the, for the ones in school, because uh, in Kenya we are lucky. The school, schools, they give a chance for young, uh, young people to play football. They have these small breaks. They, they can train and do help themselves to grow their talent. So I'll say they must uh, study well and when there is a break, they play football. So because you never know uh, in future what will happen, maybe you can, go to, you can get injured. So if you get injured, the papers can help you in future. So I can say they study and they, they play football as well. So in future, if anything happens, they have uh, something to lean on. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Something to fall back on. Yeah. At the same time, Mariga, are there many Marigas out there? Is the talent in Kenya as good as you and people like you? Yeah, well, and I believe there are some even better than me in Kenya. So we have, I've, I've seen uh, Arambe Stars last time. I've seen uh, uh, FC Leopard versus Gormaya. I've seen uh, Madari United playing. They, they have big players and uh, it's a matter of just time and you'll see uh, players playing in Europe. Yeah. yeah. Do you think we'll ever get our house in order in terms of KFF, FKL? I know now they're talking, now they at yeah. least they're talking together and they, they have one common front. But do you think we'll ever get our act together? Yeah, at the moment, I believe uh, they're, they're talking now and they'll, I think they're, they're going to help uh, our football here in Kenya now. Because it's the moment when uh, we, we, for, we forget the past and we focus now because it's, it's the moment we have big players, we have everything ready so we can do something in football. Yeah. yeah. The other thing is with the new constitution, <clears throat> there'll be, there's a clause there for dual citizenship. And I yeah. know a lot of Kenyans who don't, like, who don't want to give up their citizenship, now they'll be able to become European, now they'll be able to, be, come, to take on other uh, uh, nationalities. Yeah. You think that'll be a good thing? Yeah, for me I can't say, for me I cannot, I can't say nothing but uh, if someone decides to be, to change the citizenship, I, he, ha he, has, he has reasons to change uh, the citizenship, so I, I can't say nothing about that. Yeah, yeah. but you, you're happy where you are. Yeah, for me I'm, I'm very happy, and you as a Kenyan yeah. and uh, yeah, I'm very happy. Yeah. yeah, when you go down to SA and you're yeah. cheering the Africans, yeah. <laughs> all be going through your mind, will you be thinking, Maybe one day, before I'm too old, yeah. you know, because you're 24, yeah. before I'm too old, maybe I can play on a field like that. 
Yeah, um, for me, I think uh, it will be soon when we go there. I believe that, and I pray to God one day, maybe in four, eight years, Kenya rep we represent Kenya in the World Cup before I retire or do something else. Yeah. So I just pray to God and uh, we qualify for World Cup and soon Africa Cup, so I'll be very happy to play in World Cup. Yeah. Very happy. Yeah. Bottom line, the people who came before you, you know, the six million dollar John Bobby Ogolas, the Mahmoud Abbas's, Joe, JJ Masiga, yeah. all those guys. Do you, did you used to watch them when you were growing up or were you too little? Yeah, I was little, but I, that time I, I loved football, so they are, they are the people who inspired us and uh, they made us now where we are. We are. They are the ones who did the, 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 the way for us, so we just uh, thank, thank them so much. Yeah, and uh, at the moment it's now we, we try to open many ways for other Kenyans, so I think it will be great for, to see other Kenyans to playing in big teams in Europe. Yeah. yeah. At rugby the other day at the Safaricom, Safari Sevens, there were a lot of signs, a lot of posters out there, yeah. women waving banners <laughs> saying, marry me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what was going through your mind, man? Or does this happen all the time? No, 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 no. <laughs> I saw it once there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but it's great to see Kenyans appreciating talent, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's great. What do you tell all those fans? What do you tell all those people who have stood by you all these years? No, I just, uh, I just thank them and pray, pray to God to, to let them continue supporting us and only that. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Only that. Bottom line, there are people watching you right now. Yeah. They are young Marigas. You know, and I asked you before, the best piece of advice, other than stay in school, yeah. because you know, like you said, school is very important. Yeah. They don't know what to do right now. They have all this talent. Yeah. Do they play for a club? Do they, you know, what do they do to get noticed like you? Oh yeah, it's, uh, at the moment I am organizing to to put uh, my my academy, and uh, I think I'll help some uh, young Kenyans and uh, to train them. But after school, after they have finished school, they can come to my academy and train, and uh, I'll do everything for them, facilities and everything. Mm. So yeah, I'll organize something to to give to the youths and uh, help them to grow their career. Yeah. Yeah. Down the line, life after football. Yeah, is that what you want to do? To keep pushing these kids, so that one day you'll say, "Those are my boys." You know, I train yeah. those boys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to. After football, I want to to be having. I want my academy to be a big thing and uh, to help uh, young young Kenyans and to put them in European clubs. But uh, because I think when I finish I finish my career, I pray to God my career to be. The way it's, it's going well now, so I can have contacts to the big, biggest clubs. So if I have my academy, it will not be a big problem uh, for the youth to go in Europe. So I think uh, in future it will be not uh, difficult for young players to go to Europe the way we did, you know, because uh, uh, this point is it's difficult because no no one knows uh, in Kenya there is talent or there's uh, big big uh, big players because there's no. Uh, many agents coming to Kenya, so I think in future they'll be coming more and more. Yeah, thanks to people yeah. like you, you've opened the door because now they realize, hey, there's a country called Kenya, and it's not just about athletes. Yeah, so okay. not not only me because there's even Oliye, there's Oboya, there's my 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 brothers Mugabe, there's this one playing in Sofapaka, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, Thomas, and yeah, there's my cousin Solo, and yeah, I think. Uh, I think they are following the right, and I think they are in the right track, and they are trying to attract more, more young Kenyans with talent. So, I think we are in the right way. Yeah. Yeah. When you drive around that red Hummer in the streets of Nairobi, <laughs> <laughs> what's the response from people like? Do they stop you at the traffic lights? Yeah, sometimes they stop me and uh, say hi because uh, we have great Kenyans, you know. I I love them, and uh, I say hi to them. We talk, we chat. They give me some advice and. Yeah, it's great. It's great. They give you advice. Yeah, yeah, they give me. So what do they tell you? No, they just they tell me go there, work hard, do this, you know. Yeah. Yeah, they are great people. Yeah. I love them. Yeah. <laughs> do they do they tell you stop sliding too much or you know? <laughs>
No, no, no. They, they are saying, uh, they tell me to have faith, believe in God, do this, and try to make uh, Kenya qualify in, in maybe Africa Cup, World Cup, yeah. So they give uh, good advices. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Your mom, is she going to stop selling in that shop and move to Italy, or does she enjoy what she does? No, she enjoys what she does. <laughs> Actually, I tried to stop her, but yeah. no, yeah. I can't, yeah. That's her life. Yeah, that's her life. <laughs> Playing in Italy, yeah. is it different from playing in Sweden? Is it different from playing in other parts? Because you know, people don't know. Once you're in Europe, you're in Europe, but it's a different league altogether. Right? Yeah, in Sweden, yeah, but there's uh, levels, you know. Uh, like playing in in Sweden, yeah, it's a it's a good uh, it is a good league, but it's not very competitive compared to Syria. So, because I played in Sweden, I played uh, two years, so it is different from Italian league. Yeah, yeah there's, there's some African players like Samuel Eto and you know people like that who've had a hard time playing yeah. in their respective leagues. Do you get that hard time? Do you have people you know making monkey noises or calling you names out there? Yeah, sometimes yeah, because when you play away, uh, uh, fans, uh, the opponents' fans, they don't want to to lose the game, so they try to provoke a player uh, the best they can. So they call names, they call so that you cannot concentrate. But uh, now we are used to that and. If you're a player, you are ready to someone to to tell you anything. So you just continue playing. Yeah. Yeah. What do you do when they do that to you? Do you just ignore it or? Yeah, you ignore you, you ignore it. So because you cannot do nothing, you cannot uh, fight with them. You cannot do nothing to them. So you just continue playing and try to concentrate more in the pitch and score more goals. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. McDonald Mariga. Yeah. Superstar, my brother. <laughs> Thank you. Keep very it much. up. Thank Let you. me give you back your medals before I take them. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Good grief. It's only Tuesday. Superstar McDonald Mariga on the bench. I tell you, this man, he's going places. He's already flying Kenya's flag high out there at Inter Milan. And he's representing big time. This is what we mean when we talk about the future of Kenya. McDonald Mariga is up there with the best of the best. What a guest, what a show, what a week is turning out to be on the bench. And he speaks Italian, by the way, did I say that? <laughs> you cannot find these kinds of guests anywhere else, but right here on the award-winning station, K24. Where, as always, we are... Tutti Kenyani, tutto tempo. There you go. Capital Talk is recorded at the Fairview Hotel, the country hotel in town.